What's up, combo fans? It's your host, the Asian Phenom, with another Half Price Books combo video. So I'm going to start off with a quick movie review about Venom, which I watched over the weekend. I have to admit, I try to keep an open mind going to the movie, knowing that it wasn't going to be a Marvel Studio product, even though it's in association with Marvel. Um, so as it turns out, the movie pretty much stank. <laughs> It underwhelmed. It underperformed. First off, Tom Hardy didn't fit in the role. The dialogues were really cheesy. There were no jokes that you know that Marvel is known for. The easygoing jokes, just everything blends into it together. It didn't work at all. The plot was not working out. The acting was pretty much trash. The only thing great about the movie were the free comics. That's right. If you watch that at OK AMC, make sure you pick up the Marvel Custom Edition exclusive, not for resale, official movie collectible. No, it did not come in bag and board it, but it was sitting out pretty. With plenty available, and you flip the cover, it's got a We Are Venom comic. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I would probably rate the movie like a 50%. So that's very unfortunate. Hope you guys are enjoying a view of Batman. And make sure you check out, check out the review of the uh, turntable. And also the Red Hulk. Alright, we're going to start things out with some clearance items. I was very fortunate, guys. Yeah, I'm still pretty much mad at Half Price Books. Still putting press stickers on these. Because these all of these are pretty much collectibles. Starting out with Batman Detective Comics number 879. That's the, um, I believe, like the early 2000 run. With the skeleton, skeleton key with Scott Snyder, one of the best in the industry for writing. And here's Batman 713. Real nice art. I want to say it's almost Jim Lee, but it's not. I love that cover right there. Action Comics number 900. It's a 96 page spectacular featuring uh, tr contributions from all these writers and artists. This is a 599 one. I definitely love that eerie mysterious cover once again the comic book price shouldn't put it on the comic at worst put it in the back so if you guys are um, new to comic book collecting and you want to know how to remove them make sure you check out the video how to remove it with blow dryer and then how to remove the residue with uh, isopropyl alcohol so now it reduces my removal time in half with the isopropyl alcohol the thing you have to remember is don't press it down too much, otherwise you wear off the ink. Here's Ratman's Suit of Souls number uh, one. This is a one shot. Here's a must have Batman Detective Comics 881 with a jock cover. Challengers of the Unknown number 82. Uh, I simply bought it because uh, it's an early comic and Challengers of the Unknown is relatively unknown. <laughs> Pretty much says it in the cover. And here is one that features Dead Man. Not too many people know who Dead Man is. Alias, um, number five, featuring a story by Brian Michael Bendis. Um, pretty weird cover right there. And uh, I have to admit, I just started watching Iron Fist season two, episode one. So far, so good. Better than season one so far. Alias, number four. It looks like in the early 2000s, they were just doing all these mosaic type, like Picasso type of cover comics. That's what I can get from the early 2000 um, vibe. You see 9-11 kind of um, uh, tribute. Here's Detective Comics number 875, Scott Snyder again. This is a featuring story about a meaner, I heard, more violent uh, Commissioner Gordon. This is the final issue in Kenny X-Men number 544. Typically, the final issues always tend to be rated higher in price value because they are, I guess, shorter run, harder to find. Batman, The Dark Knight, The New 52, number one. David Finch, um, I want to say art, but typically the writer and then it's the artist, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Batman, Detective Comics 874. I'm not digging that art at all. That looks a little bit too um, childish to me, like a 
kid drew it. It's just lacking detail. Sorry. Didn't mean to diss the artist. Here's a real cool cover right here. I want to say it's almost like Jock. It might be, though. Um, Detective Comics X73. I would like to see that glow in the dark. Here's one that you must have. Batman Detective Comics X72 with the gas mask. Uh, looks like he's fighting somebody who's using chemical warfare. That's basically it. Here's X77. I have no idea what's going on with the cover right here. Something about truth, seduction, mystery, raveness. And it looks like... Pay, eh, and, and make sure you check out the Green Lantern movie, it looks like. So that's, I would say, uh, back in the early 2000s. Ooh, what's this? Looks like a piece of comic was stuck to it. 876, Hungry City, another jock cover. Scott Snyder, jock, I guess they make a good uh, tag team. Similar to... Greg Capulo and Scott Snyder with the uh, Batman Run, the New 52. Here's a real awesome cover. David Finch, Batman and Dark Knights, number one. I do have a lot of DC comics, huh? Typically, I don't. Here's one to break up the mode. X-Men and Alpha Flight, issue number one, the two-issue limited series. This dates back in the mid-1980s. I guess that's when they team up to fight some... Uh, Mega villain. Another Batman cover. Looks like Tony Daniel art this time. This is issue number 706. Whenever it's on a white background, it just less, looks more le legit, doesn't it? Just seems more handsome looking. And compared to a, this all black cover. Um, this is the eight, Batman 80 page giant. Uh, one shot, $5.99. Featuring stories about... All cameos with all these characters, Batman, Batwoman, uh, Catwoman, where did I get them backwards? <laughs> uh, Red Robin, and Man Bat, and all, Robin, and all these, Zatanna, all these different characters. The New 52 Catwoman number one, I really like this cover right here, pretty funky. Here's another Alias comic, number three. Phantom Stranger number one, The Heart of a Stranger. It's a four issue mini series. Cable number one with a special gold embossed cover. Another 90s gimmick. And here's one you don't see too often, guys. Conan number one, uh, early 2000s with a Dark Horse comics. Yes, um, Marvel has written about Conan and also Dark Horse. I'm not sure about DC. Here's one, Wolverine 300. You don't see this too often. Looks like Wolverine is messed up, kind of like Deadpool. Got body parts blown out. I wonder who heals fast, Wolverine or Deadpool. That would be a good um, race to have, right? Uh, my money is probably on... Heck, probably on Deadpool just because he's crazy. Avengers and Justice League America. This is the one that we've been waiting for. Will this ever happen in the movie industry? A battle between DC and Marvel's greatest heroes, pitting them against each other? This is a great read if you want to find out who is the best, who is the most powerful. Would Superman win against Thor? Who is the fastest? Is it Quicksilver or The Flash? Uh, Hawkeye or, or Green Arrow? Captain America or Batman? Hercules or Wonder Woman? Those are the questions that must be answered here's an awesome cover can't wait for season two of the punisher war journal suicide run check out that awesome silver cover love that 
Marvel Holiday Special number one. So the thing about all these uh, one shots or holiday specials, sometimes it features first appearance of new characters. For example, one had like a squirrel girl in there. So you gotta pay attention to those. And not too many people buy those, so it makes them a lower run. That's my opinion. I'm sticking with it. Marvel Milestone Edition number one. This is X Men number one. Reprinted X Men 1963. Here's another cable one. Can't have more than one. And here's Batman number 486. This is the Metalhead fighting Metalhead. Looks pretty corny though. Warlock number one. Now, this is going to be good because Warlock, I'm pretty sure he might appear in the upcoming uh, Marvel's movie run because it's all about space. You know, you got Captain Marvel coming out, probably Nova, and more about Thanos. And then we have the Inhumans, the Untold Saga, King Size Special. So lucky to have this. Um, this is a 40 page epic. It features features cameo by the Fantastic Four. Venom. Ah, oh, speaking of Venom, yes. The comic is a lot better than the movie. That's all I can say about it. It looks like Venom kind of took control of Captain America's um, battle suit. Here's Eleven. Uh, looks like he's dealing with uh, alcohol issues similar to Tony Stark, Iron Man. Here's issue number 12, uh, fighting against Jack O'Lantern. And number 13, with the Red Hulk and a Circle of Four, maybe it's a new team. You got Venom, Red Hulk, X-23, and Cosmic Ghost Rider, or is that regular Ghost Rider? Now, I'll be excited about a movie about that. Check this out, guys. I've never seen this before. It's one of these oversized comic. Um, the Avengers, Mischief, with Juggernaut, one of my favorite villains. It's just one of these um, collector sets. Collecting Marvel Avengers, uh, Avengers 5 through 8. Invincible. Image Comics made me a fan of their story. Check out this Yogi Bear, guys. How old do you think this comic is? 12 cents. I would say probably in the 1964. Let's see if I guessed right. The condition looks pretty great. And looks like 1966. That's why I was close, guys. For 25 cents, why not? Factor X with the first appearance of um, of Batman in the Deadpool 2 movie. Another must have. I really love this cover right here. The Logan Legacy with X-23 in the cover with a silhouette of uh, Wolverine on the back or Logan. This is a Death of Wolverine storyline plot. And... Why not have number one of this? Sergio Aragonés grew the wanderer number one. This is the 1985, I want to say, volume one. So, it's another weird one, number one issue that a collector should have. Here's the Flintstones early issue uh, with Peebles and Bam Bam, Once Upon a Dragonosaurus. I want to say this one is probably even older, 1964. 1966 once again. Check that out. Bam! Look at this, guys. Marvel Super Special, 104 page special. I didn't even know Marvel even made magazines like this. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what this is all about. All black and white stories and strips featuring Iron Man, Wolverine, Eric, Star Strange, Sang Chi, with otherwise known as Master Kung Fu. Uh, this came out in 2010. This is the number one black and white issues. Art got Deadpool in there too. Pretty funky, huh? Bet you you guys, you guys have never seen that. I sure as heck haven't. All right, guys. I feel like it's, I should take an intermission because <laughs> it's getting kind of long. And here is one 
that's going on in value. The old guard supposedly is supposed to have a TV series or movie coming out. So I bought this uh, whole set one through five for only three dollars. So that's definitely a steal. Let's go ahead and open this up. Is there is a in distributor incentive cover which is like embossed gold. That one is the one to look for. But good luck finding that. I'm happy with issue number one. Ooh, great art, by the way. Now I'm anxious to read it. Hopefully the story will be good. It's number three. So it's, just, it's not all sword and spear play. So it involves some guns. Issue number four. You see the trend here? A lot of black, right? A lot of black. This is going to make it mysterious. Ooh. Take a quick breather because now it's time for the good stuff. These are the ones that I've already removed price stickers from using my new and true and tried method using blow dryer and then the isopropyl alcohol. These are all bag and boarded with the resealable, the BCW resealable uh, bags. See it right there, resealable. No, I don't have to use tape and it's boarded. Everything is protected and nice. Make it just sexy looking. Star Wars Darth Vader number 25. This is a variant edition. Star Wars Vader down number one. I love this cover right here. Orange number Orange 2 number one with Alan Cuba art. This is the plastic acetate cover. If you looked at my how to remove price uh, residue, this is the one that I demonstrate using. Very easy. Love that cover, it's just so freaking sexy. Nightwing number one, I finally have in my collection, guys. Number 52, hard to find. I want to say it's like Jim Lee art, but it's not. Uh, it's Eddie Barrows. X23, number four. It's like tan art, Billy Tan. Uncanny X Men versus X23, I believe this is when she first appeared in the Uncanny X Men comic. I'm not sure if she joined. The the group it might be just the first appearance uncanny x-men number 511 you got return of gene gray or dark phoenix everything is hot right now especially with the trailer that came out i have high hopes for the movie so hopefully it would be i was happy with as, almost as good as the days of future future past this is one of the best phoenix uh gene gray covers I've ever seen. New X-Men number 134. Look how beautiful it is. Admire that. Look at the art. The fire. Everything is so detailed. I protected her. Kind of makes me wish that's kind of like embossed. Amazing Spider-Man 492, the first appearance of Digger. And this is a Jeffrey Scott Campbell art. Everything that he draws is pretty much hot. Follow him on Instagram, by the way. Here's number 493. Look how sexy he draws Mary Jane. Um, like you don't here. The only two people I guess who draws Mary Jane that sexy is Tom McFarlane, I guess. The main Spider-Man 529, I believe this is my, I want to say fourth copy. This is um, the uh, first printing of the first appearance of the spider armor that appeared in Avengers Infinity War. Captain America 359, the first cameo of Crossbones. Part 3 to 6 of the Bloodstone Saga Hunt. And this is my second issue, the first full appearance of Crossbones. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. And nobody cares. How am I gonna top those two off? Why? The very first appearance of the Cosmic Ghost Rider, better known as the right to fear me. Cytorak. It's a Sidorak. Especially if you have Juggernaut on the cover, I'm looking at it now. that makes it even more must have. Alright, guys, so what's special about this five ghosts? If you look carefully, it is on the bottom left, it's signed. And also, there are only 200 of these that exist in the world, guys. This is the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. This is 
oversized, bigger than your typical comic. So I had to find one of the Silver Age ones to fit it in there. And that is looking so beautiful. I have the regular uh, number one, but this is the Comic Con exclusive. So that's what makes it even more popular. Speaking of lucky guys, this is my second issue of the Black Mirror with the jock cover. This is going hot on eBay. $50, $60 and above, maybe upwards like two, three hundred graded. Very hard to find, guys. But it doesn't stop there. Continue on. 878. Look at this. Another beauty by Jock with his fantastic painting. The villainy of Tiger Shark. To close this out, I must bring out my best. And this is my best. Batman Detective Comics 880. Who, who would have thought I would be so lucky to find two of this in one year? I thought I would be never able to find this because this one it is just because of the cover. It's not because of the story. This is the jock cover with story by Scott Snyder. Check out how awesome it is. If you pay attention to his head, it's like flying bats that represents it. Everything blended in. This is like this true work of art. Look at that. If only it was glowing in the dark, probably. <laughs> It'll make it even more sexier. Yeah, so good luck finding that one. I feel very fortunate. But I hope you guys do find it. So that way you have it in collection and admire it. And as always, um, I'm going to end my comic book hauls uh, with what's hot right now. So considering what's hot. With the Captain Marvel movie coming out next year, I think. This makes this one heat up. The main Spider-Man, area number 16. It says right here, presenting the exciting origin of the all-new, all-different, all-terrific Captain Marvel. Well, if you look carefully, what does that Captain Marvel have to do with the Captain Marvel that's shown in the trailer? Why, this is the very first female Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, who isn't the one that we know that's going to be in the movie. But regardless, sometimes anything that's related goes up in value. So this rose from like, I want to say like $3 or something. Now it's, I mean $13. Now it's like $30 or more. I hope everybody happy collecting. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can get more of these exciting comic book hauls that's coming up. As always, happy collecting.